Iga Sviantek versus Barbara Kujikova is the third matchup for the WTA Finals for 2024, and both players have had totally different seasons to get to this stage. Iga Sviantek enters the tournament as the number two in the world, trying to recapture that world number one ranking like she did this time last year at the WTA Finals. Her best result was actually winning last year's WTA Finals, and as I mentioned, it got her back to the world number one spot. She's had a really good season this year as well, 59 wins, eight losses, which includes five titles, as well as another Grand Slam title at the French Open as well. Her best win was actually against Sabalenka back-to-back -back tournament in Rome and Madrid. However, her worst loss was at the start of the season in Australia, where she lost to Nozkova in one of the biggest upsets of the season. Her form has been pretty good. Hasn't been really great since winning that French Open, but she has still been very consistent, making the quarterfinals of the US Open in her last event. Barbara Krajikova comes into the tournament as the number 13 in the world and gets the benefit of winning Wimbledon and the Grand Slam rule that has been introduced, meaning that if she was in the top 20 by the end of the season, she would get that last spot, the number eight spot, instead of somebody who actually finished with more points in front of her. So, a little bit fortunate for Jikova to get in. Her best result here was actually three years ago, when she lost in the round robin stage. She actually lost all her matches there, but the 2021 WTA Finals, if you remember, was really, really stacked, and it was really, really even. So, a little bit hard not to get one win there. Her record this year hasn't been great, 19 wins and 14 losses, but she has that Wimbledon title, and that's all that matters when she's coming into this tournament. Her best win was actually at Wimbledon against Rabakina in that semi-final, which really proved that she deserved to win that title. Her worst loss, however, was at the US Open to Rousse, who came to the qualifying and beat Krajikova in a big upset in the second round. Her form lately has not been good with a lot of losses but also injury as well so it will be interesting to see if Krajikova can come into this tournament healthy enough to compete against the best of the best. These two have actually played four times before with the head-to-head -head split down the middle 2-2. However Krajikova has won their last two matches but the last time they played was nearly two years ago at the start of 2023 with Krajikova getting the win there in a final in Dubai and with Krajikova not playing much lately due to injury it's going to be interesting to see if Krajikova can still use that confidence of the last two matchups against Fiontek. If Krajikova's going to win this one, she needs to be aggressive. She needs to be able to mix up her game on these courts. She's already beat Fiontek on an indoor hard court before, but of course not playing that much over the last couple of weeks and also being injured could really be a factor in whether or not Krajikova can beat Fiontek and not, not just her, but also other players to progress. If Fiontek's going to win this one, she needs to get off to a good start. She can't let Krajikova get off to a good start and, and gain that confidence, especially if Krajikova's feeling a little bit sore after not playing for the last couple of weeks. Of course, Fiontek hasn't played since the US Open, so she's probably going to be a little rusty as well. So she's really got to start off strong in this campaign if she's going to try and get that world number one ranking back. This matchup is always so much fun to watch, but it's always going to come down to Krajikova if she's going to be healthy or not. I don't know if she is. I think I'm going to go with Fiontek in this one in maybe a close straight set, just because I don't know what Krajikova is going to be able to do. And if she can't move, then how's she going to be able to play against Fiontek, who makes everybody run around like crazy? So I'm going to go with Fiontek in straights, but let me know the comments below. Who's winning this match?